Assalamu alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, always with you Shafiri. In this video, we are going to continue our previous series about side effects in Jetpack Compose. In today's video, we are going to learn about Remember Curating Scope. Let's get started. Alright, so last time we learned about side effects, and in this video, we are going to learn about the Curating or the Remember Curating Scope. So basically, remember curating scope will allow us to lash curatines, and this is the good thing. If you remember, we could also lash curatines using the launch effect. So with the launch effect, let's say you can do something like that. And for the block, you can use specific thing because you get access to the curatine scope. But like problem with this thing, you can, yeah, you can lash the delay function, which is curatine scope. That's a good thing. The problem with this thing is that you can't launch it upon an event. And the issue is that this will relash, this especially will relash, whenever this key changes. I want to do something based on the click, okay? I want to show a toast based on the click. Here's the thing. And like, I want to show it here. So I want an event that lets me do something. So I want, when the click happens, I want to do delay, and then you are going to lash a toast, okay? The core thing about is this delay. Okay, we need that for recomposition. I think we can move this here. Something like that. Okay. And I want to do the delay, of course. Delay of five seconds. Or five seconds. Okay, we can do that. So what you do is to create a scope or curity scope and equal to the remember curity scope. Like that. Okay, so if you check this, this is simply a remembering composition scoped coroutine scope cancel. So this will result in a wrapper that is tied to the composition. So when the composition discards something, this scope will be canceled. Okay? So we can use the scope here in order to lash, like all you always do the lash here, and you can lash whatever you want here. That's the beauty. You can use it in whatever place you want. That's the beauty of this coroutine scope. Let me remove that and that. We don't need them. And let's run this application. So here we have Hello World 2. So once I click on it, it will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And you must see Hello World 2. As you can see, you can see Hello World 2. Now the beauty is that this won't get cancelled. Because what is the problem? Why do we have this side effects in the first place? The problem is that this function can re-execute many times because of the recompositions. So let's say that we will trigger a recomposition. Let me change something here. Yeah, let me do a clickable here at state will equal to the state, something like that. So this, if I click on it, this will result in a recomposition. So in the meantime, this would get executed and then once it will stop, so I will click on it two times in order to check and Let's write it again. So you can see that it won't get canceled. It will continue. By default, we have hello world. If I click on it, this will be false, as you can see, and then you are going to see it in three seconds. Yeah, exactly. I think we need some logs in order to show that it isn't changing. Yeah, we want to have recomposition alongside uh, this running in the meantime. So I created the following thing. So we have a box with a text here, and you do have another text. I think it won't be shown in the first place. Okay, yeah, it has been shown. So we do have a text that is that when I click on the text, it will change the state. As I can see, it is changing only the state here and here because we have only one state. And we have also this thing. So I want to see if changing, recomposing doesn't affect this uh, block running, okay? So we are going to click on this. So it is one, two, three, four, five. We must see exactly you have seen. So basically, recomposition isn't making any problem to this. This will execute normally and it will continue normally unless this header leaves the composition, of course. So by that mean, this will get canceled. You can use that scope to do more than that, of course. You can, you can cancel things, I think can check if it is active, you can access the curating context, like whatever you can do with the curating scope, you can do it here. That's the beauty of this curating scope. One thing to mention, so if this header leaves, if this header leaves the composition, of course, this scope will be canceled, of course. So let's say you pass a scope, like let's say you create that scope here. 
let's say you create that scope here and you pass the scope to the function like that. Okay, so that way I can use that scope pass from the outside. If this header, of course, leaves the composition, the recruiting scope will keep executing, of course, because it, it's not affected by this one, it's affected at this level. So if you have composable, like let's say you have composable one, two, and three, let's create your scope in the first composable and you pass it down to the second and the third, of course. So when the third exit the composition, this curtain scope will sit alive and can execute curtains, of course. Okay, so just keep that in mind. That's it about the simple thing about remember curtain scope. It is a powerful thing. And if we go here to the documentation, I don't know, yeah, I saw like this composer and the, the wrapper thing. So it returns a curtain scope bound to this point at the, comp at the composition, of course and it will be cancelled when this leaves the composition of course and yeah the query context return by get context may not contain job as the scope considered the child of the composition it makes sense of course and yeah use the scope to launch job in response to callback events as i said clicks or other user interaction where response that event need to unfold over time and need to be cancelled if like the composable manage process leave the composition yeah and like this is different from the launch effect because the launch effect you can use it like when you initialize like when you start the composition or the composable as opposed to launch effect but this one you can use it whenever you have a response to an event whenever you have an event click user interaction you can use this uh, remember routine scope like this is pretty simple one to use and a really good tool in your toolbox that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.